Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going hands on with one of the most important components in electronics. The resistor. I'll show you how to identify it, read its value, and actually use it in a real circuit. Let's get started. What is a resistor? A resistor is a tiny component that resists the flow of electrical current. Think of it like a speed bump for electrons. It slows them down, controlling how much current flows in your circuit. What does a resistor look like? Resistors are usually small cylindrical components with two metal legs. Most are color-coded with painted bands. Some are tiny surface mount chips with numbers printed on them. Resistors don't have polarity. You can connect them in either direction. How to identify a resistor's value? Most resistors have colored stripes printed on them. These stripes follow an international resistor color code, where each color represents a specific number. This chart makes it super easy to find a resistor's value. Let's check it out and see how it's done. Resistors usually come in 4 band or 5 band types. A 4 band resistor works like this. First band, the first digit. Second band, the second digit. Third band, the multiplier or how many zeros to add. Fourth band, the tolerance which shows the accuracy of the resistor's value. And for 5 band resistors we just have one more digit in the beginning before the multiplier. When you look at a resistor, which side do you start reading the color bands from? Let me show you how to do it right every time. Look for the tolerance band. The tolerance band is usually gold, silver, or sometimes brown or red. It's often a little bit separated from the other bands like it's got some extra space. Hold the resistor so the tolerance band is on the right. When the tolerance band is on the right side, start reading from the left side. Read the color bands left to right those first bands give you the resistor's value. Okay, now let's find out how to read a resistor's value using the color code. It's easier than you think. For example, let's take this resistor and figure out its value step by step. Four color bands. Red, violet, brown, gold. Red is 2. Violet is 7. Brown means times 10. So, 27 times 10 equals 270 ohms, with plus or minus 5% tolerance because of the gold band. Easy, right? Let's look at another example. Brown, black, red, gold. Brown is 1. Black is 0. Red means times 100. So, 10 times 100 equals 1000 ohms or 1 kilo ohms, with plus or minus 5% tolerance because of the gold band. The 5 band resistor works almost the same way as the 4 band one. The only difference is, we get an extra digit at the start. So instead of two numbers, we've got three. Let's check out an example of a 5 band resistor and see how it's done. Red, violet, black, orange, brown. Red 2. Violet 7. Black 0. Orange multiply by 1000. Brown plus or minus 1% tolerance. Now, put the three digits together. 2, 7, 0, gives us 270. Multiply by 270 times 1000 equals 270,000 ohms. That's 270 kilo ohms with plus or minus 1% accuracy thanks to the brown band. Alright. Let's grab the multimeter and see how to find a resistor's value quick, simple, and accurate. And remember, even after we calculate it using the color code, it's always smart to double check with the multimeter to make sure the value is correct. First, turn your multimeter to the ohms setting that's the one with the omega symbol. Place the two probes on each end of the resistor. Polarity doesn't matter here, so red and black can go on either side. Your multimeter will instantly show the resistance value. For example, this one reads 1 kilo ohms. You can also compare this reading to the resistor's color bands to double check. If the reading is close within the tolerance band you know your resistor is in good condition. If your multimeter has multiple ranges, like 200 ohm, 2 kilo ohm, 20 kilo ohm, and so on, you'll need to pick the right one depending on the resistor's value. A good tip is to always start with a low range. If the value doesn't show up properly, just move up until you get a clear reading. Now place the probes on each end of the resistor. Polarity doesn't matter here, so red or black can go on either side. 
Let's see how to test this 4.7 kilo ohm resistor with a multimeter. On the 200 ohm or 2 kilo ohm range the multimeter will just show 1, because the resistor's value is higher than those ranges. But when we switch to the 20 kilo ohm range, we get the correct reading around 4.68 kilo ohm to 4.75 kilo ohm. Let's try another one. On the 2 kilo ohm range, it just shows 1, because the value is higher than 2 kilo ohm. Switch to the 20 kilo ohm range, and you'll see the correct value, right around 9.8 kilo ohm to 10.2 kilo ohm. On the 200 kilo ohm range, it still shows close to 10 kilo ohm, but with less accuracy. Alright guys, now let's see how to check a resistor using an analog multimeter. The process is a little different from a digital one, but it's just as simple. First, turn the selector to the ohms range. Analog meters have multipliers like times 1, times 10, times 100, or times 1k. That means whatever the needle shows, you'll multiply by that factor to get the real resistance. Now, short the two probes together. The needle should swing all the way to zero on the right. If it doesn't, use the zero adjustment knob to set it perfectly. This step is really important every time before measuring. Let's check a 10 kilo ohm resistor. On the times 1 range, the needle won't even move properly. The value's too high. On the times 10 range, the needle lands at 1000. Multiply that by 10 and that's our 10 kilo ohm. On the times 100 range, the needle points to around 100. Multiply that by 100 and again we get 10 kilo ohm. So no matter which range you pick, as long as you multiply correctly, you'll always get the same result. Alright guys, now let's check out how to read the value of these tiny SMD resistors. Unlike the big chunky ones that use color bands SMD resistors have numbers printed right on them. Let's decode them and see what they really are. On the top of the resistor, you'll find either a 3 digit code, 4 digit code or sometimes a code with the letter R. Let's see how to read a 3 digit SMD resistor code. The first 2 digits are the main value. The third digit tells you how many zeros to add. For example 105 SMD resistor. First digit 1. Second digit 0. Third digit multiplier 5, add 5 zeros. Value is 1 million ohm, that means 1 mega ohm. Easy, right? Now let's move on to a 4 digit SMD resistor example. 4 digit codes are used when more precision is needed. 3 significant digits. First 3 digits base value. Fourth digit multiplier. Zeros to add. For example, 1002 SMD resistor. First three digits 100. Last digit 2. Add two zeros. Value is 10,000 ohm. That mean 10 kilo ohm. Sometimes you'll see SMD resistors with the letter R in the code. The R acts like a decimal point. Here examples. Testing an SMD resistor with a multimeter is just like testing a regular resistor. Now let's see how to create a simple circuit using resistors. If you learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe. And hit that bell so you never miss an update. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. See you in the next video. Take care.